Now this is a story about building, bonding, and engaging to empower people. Mama used to say it's always good to know and tell your own story rather than entrusting it to people who don't know, or people who don't know and know they don't know, or people who don't know know they don't know but pretend that they know what they know they don't know. So we are going to tell this story for ourselves. We're going to tell it like a T.I. is. You see, this is the best of times, yet the worst of times, at the same time. It is the age of wisdom in an age of so much foolishness. It is the age of swagger. In a time of vulnerability and insecurity. It is the season of light, but it feels like midnight with the moon and the stars in a permanent timeout. It is the spring of hope, but for us, spring got furloughed and knocked into the winter of despair. There should be everything before us, but it seemed like there was nothing before us at all. So we had to walk out on nothing, hoping to land on something. And you know what? We did. Because on the hill there is a neighborhood. Some people overlook it, but it is one of the most promising neighborhoods that you ever could find. The neighborhood is on the hill, the hill is in the city, the city is Richmond, Virginia, and there is a transformation coming on. Now in this geographical neighborhood there are kindred spirits. Some of the most creative neighborhood folk that you ever could find. They are children and youth, men and women, friends and family. And like I said, the neighborhood is on the hill, the hill is in the city, the city is Richmond, Virginia. And yes, there's a kindred transformation coming on. But with these neighborhood folk, there is a community of significant others. One of the most resourceful communities that you ever could find. The neighborhood engages the kinfolk who open up to embrace a community. They all hook up on the hill, the hill that's in the city, the city that is Richmond, Virginia. And yes, there's a kindred transformation coming around where people are involved, engaged, excited, optimistic, creative, working, and living fulfilling lives. But hold up, wait a minute, let me put your thought right in it. Why are we doing what we are doing? You know, building, bonding, and engaging. I'm so glad you asked. To empower ourselves. The Kinfo community aims to reduce and eliminate the negative effects of poverty by creating community wealth. You know, health, quality of life, and financial well-being. Moving people from entitlement to self-sufficiency. How? There are six central components. Number one. The Leadership Council, it's composed of adults and children who live in the Mosby Court housing development and in the neighborhood adjacent to the Raven Street cul-de-sac. The council is responsible for making sure that the Kinfo community continuously addresses community needs and desires and creates outcomes that empower the community and lead to self-sufficiency. Two, the Office of Education and Career Development was created after the community identified the lack of internet access as a barrier to job seeking and employment. A mobile computer lab was developed to provide educational and technical support. The center also partners with the City of Richmond's Workforce Development Program, whose aim is to identify jobs and train people for those jobs. Three, an Urban Conservation Corps was organized and it is composed of young adults charged with transforming vacant and donated spaces in the neighborhood into gardens and open green and recreational areas. Four, a children's arts and sports program which is a fun safe place for youth to explore the visual and performing arts and sports in particular those that foster healthy lifestyles team spirit cooperation and a sense of achievement and five and six a women's group and a men's group where participants enroll in a 12-week support and personal training and development group each group is a safe place where power dignity and freedom are generated and expressed so yes, we're building, bonding, and engaging to empower people. That's our story. We're standing by it and sticking to it. There's a kinfolk transformation coming on.